Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, great dear friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. Our leader is the indefatigable Marze Nandi Okukano, who is under our enemy's custody, illegally, albeit. My name remains Marze Jonathan Chinetu. Today is the 23rd day of July in the year of our Lord. 2021. Without wasting time, we have our ABC Mahavichika Edusium, the HOT, Head of Directorate of States. He is going to talk to all the platforms and the whole world. Mahavichi, please, over to you. Welcome. Thank you, Mahavichi. Thank you so much, Amazi Jonathan. Um, I hope I am coming out there. You are, you are, please. Greetings, all yeah. of you, great Biafrans. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and good night to you, depending on your time zone. My name is Marvichika Chika Edozen. I come from Ihe Oma. Ihe Oma is in all the province of the upper land. And by the grace of Elohim Chukokzabiran from Yenine, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra and the Directorate of State as the head of directorate. I wish to begin this evening with a word of caution to our POV family members that. Most especially to IPOB principal servants. I wish to caution that everyone must be very mindful of what they come on air to say. Things that may create some kind of misconception in the minds of Biafrans and friends of Biafrans not must be avoided by all means. We must on no account by ourselves flee into the hands of the enemy or allow ourselves to become the conduit through which enemies will carry out their evil machinations because because we shall be tied with such a person who makes himself or herself available to be used against this very struggle. We must remember and we must be conscious of course very conscious of the intrigues of our enemies at all times and be ready to reject the temptation and avoid being the enemy willing to for the continued oppression and subjugation of the Biafran people. It is therefore imperative, great Biafrans, that we take cognizance of the fact that we are in the midst of a very historical encore. And therefore, we should let history to be our guide. The, the template of 2015 is what the DFS, the rule and their apologies are trying so very hard to recreate at this very moment, at this very hour, at this very time that Oyeju Madinan Kano is illegally in custody of our enemies. But the unfortunate thing for these people, these enemies, is that this great IPV family put together by Ali, the Mazu, and the Kano, we are matching with this towards our ultimate objective, of which, of which the most pressing present is that all hands, all hands must be on deck. We came with one accord to have our leader, we join the IPV worldwide family 
his friends. So that we together with him shall take our freedom from the hands of the slave master. I am aware that there has been some kind of misunderstanding concerning IPOB account in the United States of America. I brought out a memo on this matter, but allow me to reiterate that a new account will be opened, if not already opened, by the IPOBSA finance services. And this very account, when it is opened, will simply serve the same papers as the one that was closed and the one that served the Yakran people for the people for which only do our leader opened that way account. And the opening of this new account as well, as already stated in my memo, is a direct instruction from the leadership of this movement. And therefore, must be adhered to by all IPOB family members worldwide. When this account is ready, it will be made public and we will continue from there where we stop with the old account. And like I stated last week as well, for the meeting of Sunday the 25th, which the Directorate will be having with IPOB USA Regional Red and other national offices. I wish to ask if any of you have yet to send your Skype ID to the North American Red, please. Without hesitation, do so now, or you may send me a Skype request with your real name, and that will never loss or enable me adding you to that meeting coming up on Sunday, not tomorrow. We have seen Japan's worldwide coming out and making our voices to be heard by the international community in respect of the extraordinary rendition of the leader of this great movement, only the Muslim now, the Khan. We have and we will continue to make our voice to be heard. Those countries that have already Go out to protest, run, um, must put also some contingency plans and be ready if they are called upon again to come out that they should come out. But I wish to commend the efforts of all IPOB families worldwide. I wish to and your endeavors, which are highly, highly appreciated, and you must not relent until victory is achieved. I urge and encourage every one of you to remain steadfast and at a very high state of balance. I encourage you to eschew all forms of unhealthy difference that could impact negatively this great movement. Finally, I wish to say that a disciplined army easily overruns the position of its enemies marching from victory onto victory. The IPOB worldwide, led by Union the Madrid American East, and has always been a disciplined freedom movement. And these accounts for the great success 
which we have achieved and we continue to achieve until we have reached our ultimate destination. We must continue our spiritual wealth warfare against the stronghold of darkness so that together with our physical effort, we shall draw ever closer to our destination, which is the sovereign state of the Africa. We must continue, again, like I said last week, the Psalms which we are reading today, I believe the 54th day of the Psalms reading. Our leader must be put in our prayers daily that Tupac can make grant him good health and allow him to join us the soonest. I therefore request him the most compassionate to continue to preserve and strengthen our leader and may help him as well also preserve and strengthen each and every one of you worldwide. Black friends, you should have known by now, or we will know by now, that without Biafra we are nothing, and our people will continue to embark on perilous journeys in search of greener pastures. So we are Black friends, and the Afra is not only our identity and our heritage. It is as well our identity. And as the Chukukabiyama alone is a worthy of praise and worship. And it is for him we bow down in humility and to him we offer our worship. We must not allow anything to detract us from what is before us. I do not wish to come on here and be repeating that people must call themselves to order or advise themselves properly. I think we all understand what we as principal officers, what the Biafrans are expecting from us. We must show proper and genuine, honest and truthful leadership for this struggle. And there is not going to be any form of prevarication or any form of wasting our energy on things that cannot lead us to where we are marching to, which is to solve the question of death. I therefore Commend every one of you into the hand of felony that you may grant wisdom to all of us to do what is proper and to do what is right. We do not wish to come with to, to begin to pursue anybody with with things like um, they they pursue animals. I believe we, by this time, must have imbibed great understanding and great knowledge from all that the human do has taught us on this very platform of India. Now is the time to put it or put them in practice, depending when he rejoins us and continue from where. He left the 
before the enemies illegally and extraordinary relief and him back to Nigeria. The enemy preserved everyone of us and we continue the military struggle of the victory is achieved. And for me here, I wish to say to great their friends all over the world, stay firm, stay focused. All efforts is being made for our leader to have his freedom. And above that, all efforts are still on the way for us to have our freedom. And may you grab them, I bless all of you. And for me, from here, I wish to say good night and stay well.